Today I'm going to be going over how you can record your own quality guitar loops. I'm going to be going over what essential gear you need, some great guitar VSTs, and also how to get rid of that annoying white noise and electrical denoise you might get with recording guitar loops. Overall, this video is going to be great for all you new guitarists out there that are looking to record guitar loops. And here's a preview of a recent loop that I made using all the strategies that you'll see in this video. And that loop is going to be in an upcoming loop kit dropping in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Let's get into it. So here's what you're going to need. First off, you're going to need a guitar. This is the first guitar I ever got. And this is really cheap. This is only $200. Next, you're going to need an audio interface. This is the Focusrite Scarlet Solo. It's one of the cheapest and one of the best options. And then you're going to need a guitar cable. This pretty much connects your guitar to your audio interface, which is gonna to connect to your laptop or your computer. This um, guitar cable, however, is actually really expensive. This is a Mogani and it's around 80 bucks, I believe. I definitely suggest getting a better guitar cable because a good guitar cable will cut out a lot of the white noise that comes from your guitar to your audio interface to your computer. And then lastly, you're gonna need your DAW. I'm using FL Studio and a guitar pick will probably come in handy as well. Okay, so once you have everything plugged in, next what you wanna do is you wanna load up your DAW. That glare behind me is, oh my gosh, it's like heaven. So in FL Studio, what you do is you just go here to your mixer and then I just go to insert one and then right over here where it says none, you have to change that to in two. And then now if you play your guitar, you should be getting noise. If not, then on your audio interface, there should be an instrument button and make sure that you press that. All right, so if we turn up the volume on our audio interface, you can hear that. That electrical buzzing and white noise sound is, is awful. We don't want that, especially when we're recording guitar because we're gonna have to deal with that after. So what I like to do before is I'll just, I'll turn up the audio all the way. And then I go to this plugin called RX9 Spectral Denoise. And pretty much what this is going to do is it's going to take out all of that buzzing noise so that when we record guitar, it just pretty much eliminates most of it. RX9 Spectral Denoise is pretty expensive. So one other option for this is going to be Waves NS1. It also does a great job with just getting rid of that white noise as well. So that sounds good right there. But next, what we have to do is we have to tune our guitar. This is very important. So I just go to this free plugin called G Tune. And also, I always face away from my laptop and my audio interface because if when I notice that when your guitar is farther away from all the electrical bullshit that's over here, then it comes out with a cleaner sound. So once you have your denoise on your guitar and you also tuned it, next what you want to do is you want to just throw on a compressor on it and this is going to be the last thing that you do before you record. I'm pretty sure you can use something like Fruity Compressor, but you just want to throw a compression on because sometimes when you play the guitar, some notes that you play will be like way higher in volume and some will be way lower. But if you want something to just stay kind of at the same volume throughout the entire loop, then throwing a compressor on is really going to help with that. So next, once we have all of that, we're going to put Edison in here. Then we're gonna put record and on input. Make sure you have your tempo set right and then you're in the pattern. And I'm just gonna record something. Here's our loop right here. I'm just gonna get the rough draft of it and then export it into the song. Then I'm just gonna cut it to how I want. Then what you can do, which is really nice, is you can cut it to exactly where you want it to hit. So I can just cut and then move it. And then we'll lastly just cut it right at the end. And now pretty much once I have my main melody of my guitar down, next what I do is I just play with this right here. And then pretty much just freestyle, just try and solo some things on my guitar, on me guitar, on my guitar that I can add to this loop. Where did my guitar pick go? How did it get over here? Okay, so now that we have all of our recorded guitar down, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add on to this with some other instruments from VSTs like pianos, bass, stuff like that. I'm pretty much just gonna add on to the loop and then I'm gonna be going over some great guitar amp VSTs that you guys can add to this to make it sound a lot more professional and realistic. So I'll just skip through everything that I'm adding right here. All right, so I added all my other melodies to this loop. 
Really got that like gangsta soul young boy vibe in there. But now let's move on to some great guitar amp VSTs that you can add to your guitar. So my top choice are the Archetype VSTs. These are great guitar amps and they have like a wide variety of different sounds and tones that you can get with your guitar. My personal favorite is Archetype Corey Wong and Archetype Petrucci. How do you say it? Pet Petrucci? I, I don't know. But pretty much with the main guitar that I got here, I already added some Archetype to it. And then I also added this wah filter to it so that the, the guitar is pretty much just playing in like in this wah wah pattern the entire way then also as you can see here i added some guitar plugs that you guys will hear all right so now to add the vst to these since we have our denoise on there or since we already recorded the guitar with denoise and a compressor, we don't need to add any of that. We really just need to add the whole amp to it. So we can delete the compressor, delete the denoise. And now that we're in Archetype Cory Wong, we can go and we can look through like a bunch of different presets, but I usually just like to stay on default and create my own presets. So to walk that through, what I do first is I, we can take that out because this is pretty much the compression area. We can just take that out. And this is where you get your wah, disable that. We're gonna keep our EQ, our amp. And then this simulates what it's like being recorded. So we'll just keep these four in for now. Take out some bass, boost the middle and the treble. some EQ on it. I usually take out the very highs and the very lows. I'll add some reverb. I also like to add a lot of um, chorus to it. Not a lot of chorus, but I, I like to add some chorus because it helps it stand out in the mix. And one thing I really love about Archetype is that you can just save these presets when you make your own. And we can name this something like electric guitar and then save it and then we can have that preset if we go here and i have more presets but i'm i'm at my home right now and i'm using my laptop and all of my save presets are on my pc but i know a couple other good guitar and vsts um guitar rig is pretty popular and then i also have amplitude 5 which is like it's a little bit more complex but once you learn how to work it then it could be really great especially if you want to go for a very certain sound with your guitars but pretty much when you follow all of those steps with the guitars and recording them and adding all the stuff that you want to it then you should come out with a pretty professional and clean sound all right so i finished mixing and arranging the loop this is the final product if you guys enjoyed and learned from this video it would mean a lot to me if you guys were to like and subscribe on this video also if you guys are interested in seeing other videos like this and other like short tutorials and just informational videos in general then go check out my instagram at prod i post around two times per week on on there but without further ado let's listen to the final loop Bye.